a lot of you will be working from home at the moment and you probably don't have a swanky desk and an office chair to work from. So what can you do to minimise neck and lower back ache whilst you're working from home without your desk set up correctly? So there's a few things we can do and all you need is some towels and some books and some pillows to help you get into a really good position. So we're going to start off with the chair, okay? So with your chair, you might just have a dining chair. That's absolutely fine. We just need some pillows and towels to help us get in the right position. So when we're sitting down, we want our hips to be higher than our knees, just slightly. So if you were to drop a glass of water on your lap, you'd want it to run down to your knees slightly. So to achieve this, you can pop a little folded towel or blanket under your bottom and that just will lift you up slightly. So again, that's already put me in a slightly better position. For the spine, we really want to make sure we have a good lumbar support. So again, just using a towel, roll it up. You can put some elastic bands around it just to keep it in place. And then you want to sit that into the dip in your lower back. So you should really kind of feel that supporting that lower back, just that will help you stop with the slouching, just to remind you to sit up straight. In this position, your spine is stacked and you're using less of the postural muscles to keep you upright. If the dining chair is too tall, if you're not particularly higher than five foot six, then you might find that you just need to elevate your feet. Again, if you don't have a footrest, you can make one out of some books. So, if you get one or two books, pop one down and then angle one on top of it. super supported, less stress going through the spine and the muscles. If you don't have a mouse mat at home, what you can do is use some masking tape on a table just to keep your mouse in the correct position. Sometimes with the mouse we tend to get carried away and end up around here. That leads to increased stress in the shoulder, the neck and some rotation that can aggravate any lower back issues. So, Keeping your mouse on a mat or within the designated square will again help with minimising the stress in the upper neck and shoulders. With your keyboard, you do want it slightly lower than we've got here, but again, if you're using a dining table, you won't be able to do that. If you have any problems with your wrists, you can use a small towel to just give you a little bit of support. This will help minimise the carpal tunnel stress. Again, just with a small hand towel, you can just gently fold and just rest your wrist slightly on it. So therefore, we're in a slightly better position rather than here, which will aggravate the wrist, or here, we want just a nice support to keep those wrists in a bit more neutral. And again, that will decrease the stress going through the wrist, minimise pins and needles and numbness in the fingers. When you're looking at your screen, if you do have a wireless keyboard, that's great. You can then move the screen separate from your laptop. But with the screen, you really want eye level to be just about the height of the top of the screen. So you don't want to be looking up and you don't want to be looking down. Please avoid sitting on the sofa on your laptop like this. It will lead to you having to come for more appointments. Any questions, just ask us at Situate Healthcare.